Well, well. If it isn't the Intercontinental Champion. I remember my first IC title, but barely. Because I've had so many. <laughs> Losing your memory in your old age, huh? So sad. <laughs> wow. Locke's got jokes. And I was just about to teach you everything I know about being the Intercontinental Champ. Enlighten me. To be a true Intercontinental Champion requires a truly Intercontinental skill set with mastery of styles from all over the world. And your Intercontinental specialty is British, Japanese, Lucha, Cleveland? No, no, no. I am the greatest French style wrestler of all time, of course. A style defined by the element of surprise, or as the French say, surprise with a Z, which they stole from me. <laughs> Are you sure about that? My wife is French, so I'd know. But enough spelling talk. Let me show you what the Intercontinental Championship is all about. In the ring, for your title, what do you say? <sighs> sure, but I've got more important business first. I've already got a cage match title defense lined up. Well, bon chance, as the French would say. Break a leg, or two. The following contest is a steel cage match! That is for the WWE Intercontinental Championship! Here comes Madcap Moss. A man finally realizing his potential. Don't tell Corbin this, but I'm kind of liking Moss's new attitude. Well, his new attitude has already paid dividends. Madcap Moss won the 2022 Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royale. There is pure aggression on the face of Madcap Moss. I cannot wait to see him compete. Coming up, and a huge opportunity for the champ to prove to everyone that there truly is none better in all of WWE right now. Introducing the challenger from Minneapolis, Minnesota, weighing in at 220 pounds, Madcap Moss! And his opponent from Chelsea, England, weighing in at 200 pounds. He is the WWE Intercontinental Champion, John The Lock Lachlan. The Intercontinental Championship, one of the most coveted titles in all of WWE. Continental Championship over the years between legends and absolute titans of this business. This match could easily be history in the making. Into the follow-away slam. Well, they say everyone has a plan until they get punched in the mouth. Well, someone just threw their plan out the window. A oh, bear hug. Squeezing the breath out of them. He's got it locked in. The he... bear hug cinched in. Got to find a way out and catch your breath. Look at this. No quit whatsoever. Ready down out. And escaping the bear hug. Oh, puts your perfect takedown. Oh my goodness. Ah, what a smash. That is just insulting. Right in the face. My God. Working his way up the side of the cage. From the top. Can't quite get him there. Vicious right for. Uh-oh. Able to parry that one. Having a 
Undertaker's superstar used the cage to their advantage. It's as much a weapon as it is an enclosure. Pinfall, submission, escaping the cage. It's all much easier when you're using the unforgiving steel to keep the opposition down. himself. Kick to the back. Oh, dropping the bow. Oh, man. Strikes with a kick. Stop after stop after stop. Oh, man, that's like death by a thousand cuts. sense of fear has almost instantly emerged all around us, Cole. A bad place to be for the challenger. It's encouraging to see a superstar withstand the punishment of a steel cage. That said, you want to make sure you dish some out, too. with every step. Here comes the man with a shot to the back. What the heck 
heck is he doing out here? And now The Miz is asking for the cage to be lowered down. This is absolute mayhem. The champion just survived a cage match, and now he's dealing with this? The champ's doing his best to battle back, but Miz has played the element of surprise to perfection. Can the champion capitalize on this opening? Low blow from The Miz. The most unpredictable man in sports entertainment has struck again. And again, and again, and again. Talk about a long night for the Intercontinental Champion. This is brutal.